Hello, everybody. I'm here with the author of the OpenTS Arena, that is the open sourced reimplementation of the first Elder Scrolls game. And um, I just wanted to say hello and see how he was doing. Um, Aaron, I believe? Yeah. Hi. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm doing pretty good. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the project that you're working on? I have the GitHub up here. Yeah, so like you said, it's an open source engine re-implementation re for the Elder Scrolls Arena. And basically the objective is to replace the executable from 1994 with a new one. And if you're familiar with OpenMW, then you already have a good idea of what this project is doing. That's really great to hear. I've been messing around with OpenMW quite a bit, and I'm super excited to hear about this because I spent the last about three days messing around with Elder Scrolls 1. You know, I first I created a uh, Red Guard Knight, and then I went to a Nord Healer, and I think I'm enjoying the Healer a lot more than a Knight, but um, uh, l let me ask you a question. Uh, there are some issues with Arena. For example, if you go out to try to explore too much in a node, um, the game will actually corrupt your save file um, and crash spectacularly. Are are you planning in this... I realize it's nowhere near done right now, but when you, uh, you're planning on fixing those bugs that existed in the original implementation, right? Yeah, so um, since it is a brand new engine being written from the ground up, uh, we really have the ability to change anything we want about it. So there would always be the potential for just fixing every single bug that was present in the original game. That makes me smile. That absolutely makes me smile. Yeah, so no more uh, worries about memory leaks or uh, <laughs> any crashes just happening randomly. And if those do happen, then they would be because of of the engine itself so <laughs> if they are mm -hmm. uh, happening then then they will be fixed eventually because we have the source code available i just uh pulled up the open ts arena github where from here can i grab a screenshot um oh there's a screenshot a little bit down in the readme and there are also some in the here samples folder Got it. I uh, got the uh, screenshot from the readme. Uh, looks sharp, I would say. Um, so you you say you crafted this engine from scratch? You're not using Unity or anything like that? Yeah, so it's being written uh, from scratch in C++11, and it's using SDL for video. And that means that it's, uh, it's possible for it to be cross-platform between Windows, Linux, and eventually Mac. All right. Uh, is there a potential for any kind of 3D graphics acceleration? Um, maybe at some point, but right now I was focusing on just uh, doing a software renderer because mm -hmm. I didn't want to have the graphics be too much of a time sink. So uh, I, by using a software renderer instead, that really takes a lot of the work away so I can yeah. spend time working on other things. But maybe at some point in the future, I might consider adding an OpenGL or Vulkan renderer. But right now, I'm happy with just the software renderer just for prototyping purposes. OK, so where um, where are you in the course of the project? Because you know I can I saw other screenshots and videos. I believe you, you do have a YouTube channel, don't you? Yeah. Uh, um, can you go ahead and link that to me in Discord? Just click on my name in Discord, and it'll bring up a little uh, box that you can type it into. Okay, uh, just a minute. Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'd like to throw that video up for people to watch while we talk. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yes, uh, people in the chat are asking if you have Twitter. And uh, we actually discussed this before, and I believe he's considering one. So. Yeah, I don't have a Twitter yet, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a possibility. I might look into it sometime just for g uh, giving people project updates. Absolutely. So it looks like you got the title screen working, uh, the, um, the opening cards. 
the character, the basic character creation. Um, yeah, the, the stats aren't there quite yet, but I can see how um, everything seems a lot smoother than uh, than the the uh, the DOS box implementation has it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm expecting everything to be able to run at at least sixty frames per second. Mm -hmm. That's that's the basic target right that's now. That's what the stream but... is going at. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's also. If there isn't now, then there will be in the options a FPS um, option so that you can change it to whatever you want. So there's there's no upper bound, so you know you can just have the FPS be as high as you want. Makes and, sense. Uh, same thing with uh, the field of view. There's, I think there's a field of view option in there in the mm -hmm. the uh, build from April. But uh, yeah, you'll be able to change the field of view to anything that you want. So, uh, what would you say the biggest challenges were for this uh, project? Um, uh, definitely the data formats. Yeah, that, that's number one, is uh, decoding the old arena formats, because there's very little documentation on them. Oh, so in other words, the um, because arena isn't open sourced, and you're you're building the engine, but ultimately the engine has to interact with the old data files. Yeah, we're just replacing the executables. So uh, my engine will still be using all of the same data that came with Arena. So if uh, someone, say, wanted to swap out, um, say, the graphic for one of the monsters, could they do that? Uh, yeah, probably. Um... I don't have any like really specific modding capabilities right now, but uh, you could definitely modify the arena data files, and then those changes would appear in game. That is very interesting. So as far as the, um, I, I want to say, okay, well, you pretty much answered that question. Is right now at this phase, you know, modding isn't planned at the moment. But uh, l let me ask you, where are you in the project? Like, uh, what was your last milestone? Uh, well, we just implemented sound a couple weeks ago, so we can load all of the sound files from, from Arena, like uh, sword clanks and uh, uh, monster sounds and all of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not uh, 3D yet, so it's basically like what it was in the original game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would like to add 3D positioning so that you can hear where the sounds are coming from. That would be think, very nice. I think that was a big problem in the original game because you couldn't tell which direction a fireball was coming from. So that that kind of added to the clunkiness of it. I found that sounds would overwrite one another. So not only could you not tell where a fireball was coming from, but if you made a sound, you wouldn't hear the fireball because the other sound was overriding it. Yeah, we won't have that problem anymore because we're able to uh, have as many sound channels as we want, basically. So, yeah. All right. Uh, someone asks in the chat, will the controls be remade or will he leave it? Um, I do not want to have the old controls, but <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I think there would be key rebinding at some point, but right now it's using WASD for movement. Mm -hmm. It's not using arrow keys. Yeah. Uh, but but for a classic mode, yeah. So that there are two interface modes, classic and modern. The mm -hmm. classic mode will try to match what the original game is, and that uses the mouse cursor for movement. Mm -hmm. And there's a modern mode that removes a lot of the interface, so that it's a lot more like like the Daggerfall interface. Yeah. I think a lot of people would, would like having that, so that's something that I decided to implement. Yeah, I know that in one of the first things I did with Arena is I installed a, uh, a DOSBox config file that specifically changed up the, uh, the keys, you know. So, yeah, uh, I, I think yeah. having to press shift J is is horrible. I don't want to do that. I'd, <laughs> I'd rather have it on space or something. Like That's something right. Much yeah, I, I don't understand the shift J. I mean, it, okay, <laughs> so if I had one hand on the arrow keys and the other hand on shift and, you know, they hit the, I guess the index finger would hit shift and the pinky finger would hit J, that is just atrocious. 
Yeah, well, uh, it was one of Bethesda's first games, so don't mm-hmm. blame them. It was it was a good try. Yep, yep. Uh, no, no, no. I'm I'm flashing back to Star Control, and if you or or Mech Warrior, the original Mech Warrior, you know, you uh, all kinds of interesting uh, key bindings, I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I am. Um, I'm interested in pretty much everything about this. I realize that, you know, obviously this isn't your full-time job and you have a, um, you know, you are otherwise busy very frequently. But uh, let me ask you, what is your next big planned feature at this point in development? Um, Well, I would like to finish the software renderer features there are a few things that still need to be done, like uh, diagonal walls and distant mountains and uh, objects in the sky. Okay. So I would like to add that. And I would also like to implement collision detection so that you can walk into walls and things like that and have collision behave mm-hmm. as intended. So in other words, it, this is just a very, very bare bones like we have proven that this the program itself works and it can hook into the data files but everything else is still pending at this moment yeah most of the the data format decoding has been done there are still a couple things remaining but uh, we will get to those at some point in the next few months hopefully i've got to say the guy who does daggerfall unity certainly had um an interesting go of it you know having to uh you know, find out the names for buildings and having to find out the names for NPCs and how the they're generated and things like that. You know, it was an experience uh, paying attention to his project. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, I really wasn't aware of this uh, very much until you, um, you came into my Discord there. Yeah, uh, I've been talking with... Interkarma a little bit in the Daggerfall Unity forums, and mm-hmm. uh, whenever there's some kind of uh, relationship between Arena and Daggerfall that I'm curious about, then I'll just bring it up and and I'll see what they know. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. The first thing I'm thinking is again how someone could get a hold of the source code for the completed version. I obviously don't. Um, you know, I, I don't see anyone trying to supplant your your work, but at the same time, uh, you know, what wh- like where will it go after you're done with it? You know, because that's the that's the nature of open source things. So, well, it's licensed pretty freely with the MI- MIT license. That's mm-hmm. the same as Daggerfall Unity. So, uh, I guess that means you can pretty much do whatever you want with it within reason, uh, as long as it's as long as you include the license with it and give credit as needed. That sounds great. So is there anything else you want to say about the project in general? Uh, well, right now it's mostly just a one-man project, and I'm pretty happy with how it's going. But uh, if I need help, then I usually make one of the uh, issues on the GitHub page. I, I add a new issue uh, asking for help. and Usually there are some programmers that will pop up, and and uh, if they know how to fix it, then they will say something. Uh, but I don't really need any other programmers right now, but yeah, I will ask if I need any. Well, if someone did, in theory, want to uh, get in contact with you to contribute to the project or in some way, you know, like throw their ideas at you, uh, how would they best go about that? Um, well, right now it's it's pretty programmer oriented, so uh, it's limited to just um, communication on GitHub. But there's also the IRC chat. But I think I would want to try using Discord instead. Mm-hmm. I would want to see if if that worked out. So maybe there's the possibility of a Discord channel in the future. So in other or- words, uh, in the future, people watching this should probably check the. Um- your general GitHub for a Discord server link at some point. Yeah, it would probably be in the readme of the project, like near the top somewhere where it's visible. Okay, 
that's good to hear. Is there, um, I, I mean, I'm reaching about the end of what I was planning on talking about. Uh, as long as I can uh, complete the main quest and go and visit miscellaneous dungeons, I think that um, I, I don't have any issues with this. I think it's uh, a great idea. And, you know, everyone's like, uh, fingers crossed, everyone's really excited about this, so. Yeah, um, I was, my target is to just have like a bare bones arena engine. That's kind of my vision for the project. I'm, I'm not really focused on uh, modding or feature requests at the moment, mm -hmm. just so that I can increase the likelihood that the project succeeds. Because when there are fewer things to do, then I have more time to spend on doing the important features just for for the engine. Okay, well, we're up to 85 people watching, so um, before we end this and I go to play regular non-open TS Arena, why don't you go ahead and uh, say something to the people who are watching, anything, any message you want to convey to the community who's come here to hear about this? Uh, well, if you are interested in following the project, then just keep an eye on the GitHub page. And if you are a developer that has C++11 experience, then uh, just click the watch button. And then if there's an issue that pops up and you know something about it, then feel free to speak up. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the GitHub and your YouTube channel in the chat when this is turned into a YouTube video later, it will include both of those links. Okay. All right. Well, I this was a nice uh, almost 20 minute discussion, but I think we are uh, pretty much ra wrapped up now. So. Um, All right. I, I wanna thank you, Aaron, for uh, dropping in and uh, letting people know about this project. And I will uh, definitely, again, turn this into a YouTube video and try to uh, spread the word. And please, um, if you have a, you achieve another milestone or anything like that, uh, drop by my, um, my uh, Discord server and tell me about it. And I'll make sure to pass the word on. Yeah, definitely. All right, Aaron. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, thanks for the conversation. It was great. Mm-hmm. You have a good one now. Bye. Bye. All right. 